Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an unboxing video um, for all of our school curriculum. The kids and I are just getting going on our school year. Things are pretty crazy. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, but you did catch us at a pretty crazy time. We're getting ready to move. So um, the house is in a little bit of chaos right now, but I still wanted to get the kids going on their schoolwork. We've still got, I think about two and a half weeks or so before we're gonna move. Um, and then we'll have to transition and get you know settled in the new place so it's gonna be a little bumpy start for this year but I did want to get going on everything so I just wanted to show you guys um, what we're gonna be doing for their schoolwork this is what we use um, a Becca and it's a great curriculum I've talked about it in another video that I did I um, grew up using this curriculum so I'm pretty familiar with it and it is a really really good curriculum so um, I'm gonna go ahead and start. I think I've got one item that is on back order, but it's just one of the manuals for me. So as far as all of the kids' books go, um, this is everything. And they are excited to start. It is a lot of why we are going to start, um, even though life is nuts, uh, because they're ready to go. So Nora, our oldest, is um, in second grade. So this, it looks like, yeah, that makes it like this is gonna be um, some of her stuff. And I think she's got a lot more coming. And then our son is in kindergarten. So he doesn't have near as much. His load isn't quite what it is with her. And I will show you guys, I'll give you a quick look at all of the different books. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, this is all second grade as well. So as you can see, it's a lot of curriculum. This is all just for my daughter um, for her second grade year. Some there there are teachers' manuals in here, and then like readers, little tiny readers and things like that. So it's not all textbooks, but it's quite a bit. And this should be mainly. It's also a good size stack. Yep. All right. So as you can see, we've got little supplemental tools that they send. And I'll give you guys a quick look at everything. All right. So starting with um, the kindergarten books. Here we've got the K5. Um, this is just, as you can see, kind of a skills skills development book. So the Abeka curriculum does a really good job with um, a lot of work when it comes to um, the dexterity and things like that. So these types of books are really great for that. Um, so this is just like a um, earth and science book. And then here is um, a social studies book. So just learning about different parts of the world and hygiene and manners, um, different careers, learning about um, you know the president and different ways all the states run. I really like that they start this kind of a thing at such a young age. Um, I think it's really, really good to get them learning. <laughs> So my kids are running around. I'm sorry if you can hear them, uh, but that's kind of how it goes with, with us. They're always around. So here we have um, the numbers tablet. They don't use the entire book all year long. There's a lot of extra supplemental pages um, that they can work on. And then um, I've talked about it before. We are doing cursive for our kids. So this is their writing tablet. And they're gonna be learning in cursive form. Last year, our son, he did the K-4, the preschool level, and they did have them start forming the letters, and he was doing really well with it. So, so far, it's going, going pretty well. And then this is another penmanship book. Like I said, they really, really focus a lot on penmanship, and um, I do think that it's a really important thing. It's pretty intense. Uh, but it does pay off. I've definitely seen that with our daughter. So this is just um, the teacher's, is this a teacher's manual? Yeah, this is the teacher's key. 
so I've got this. Um, not that you really need it for K5, but basically um, it all comes in a bundle and we have to do the bundle because um, we do the video um, side of Abeka, and I'll explain that in a little bit. So here's his math workbook that he'll do. And it works out to, um, once they get going in the year, they start out a little slower, but then once they get going, it's um, one page a day. And then I think it goes to like front and back, one page front and back each day. So then we've got the letters and sounds, teacher key. And this is his book for that. So this is um, like phonics, finding the, the correct vowel to make the right word. So it definitely keeps them busy. And then towards, um, towards the end of the year, they do start to have um, you know, little tests. So like this page will be graded. And um, I just keep track of that. What this is, is um, with Abeka, you can either do full parent-led, where you are the teacher. But for me, because we have four kids, it uh, is really hard for me to do that. So we've chosen to do the video side of things, which basically they um, will videotape the teachers in the classroom, and then your kids sit and watch the lessons. And then they get to, so here's where they keep track of all the grades. Um, and then the kids get to participate in kind of a classroom setting and they really enjoy that. So uh, it's worked out really well, but they have each lesson broken down as far as everything that, um, that you need to have ready and the papers that they're gonna work on so you can prepare ahead of time and have it ready to go, which I really like. And then this is their art book, which is the kids' favorite and they do start introducing them to um, the coins. I remember that from our daughter going through K-5. So that is the kindergarten. And these are just formation flashcards. And then they've got um, different readers. So this is learning all the different blends, blending together the consonants and the vowels. These are little beginner readers. And then little number cards, the alphabet flashcards. So it'll go through the different sounds. So A is an acorn, but then they also have an apple one for um, the short A sound, A, apple, A, acorn. And then these are little Bible memory verses. So that is all of the K-5. Okay, and then getting going on the second grade. So there are all of her readers for the year. This is her history book. On this type of thing, they are gonna have the kids um, reading this on their own. I remember that at the end of first grade last year, they were just starting that, where they wanted the kids to take the time um, on their own to sit and read these things. So I really like that they do that as well. Right here, we've got her science book. I really love that this curriculum is so complete. Um, I'm not having to bring things together. Now, some people kind of think that it's a little bit overkill, but for someone like me who is so busy with so many different kids, it's a huge help that all of this is here. So this is just the teacher's key um, for that book. And then we have, so tests and speed drills, this will be for her arithmetic. And they have these speed drills that they do um, every lesson unless they have a test. And then this test, there's the front, and then they also have the back. So then we have just more, more test keys. And this is her phonics and language book. Root words and suffix, they started that last year, so they're picking up on that again. Spelling and poetry. Spelling for her, um, just all of the special sounds. Again, our English language is so tough, especially once you start teaching it. Oh my goodness, you learn how difficult a language it really is. So just remembering all the different special sounds and all of that, um, that was tough for her. So we're gonna be working on spelling a lot this year. 
This is her penmanship book, and it's pretty good sized. So as you can see, they're gonna be copy everything down. They've got a warm up. And then you get to where they're starting to write in much smaller form. Their, their letters aren't quite so big, so learning a little more hand control. Uh, and this is the writing tablet, so this will be any extra exercises that they have them do, or if they have them write stories on their own. Phonics and language, this is the test booklet. Here is her math book. And fractions and graphs, they were starting that at the end of last year. So yeah, as you can see, it's, it's an extremely involved curriculum but it does pay off a lot okay so this is something that I've never seen before these reading comprehension skill sheets so reading a story and then answering the questions that'll be really great she's never had anything like that before and then here is another little reader book and then this deck let's see so this is a teacher's key for her phonics and language, teacher's key for the arithmetic, the parent edition for this. This is the video manual for her grade, health and science. Oh, and there's <laughs> real life happening all around us. <laughs> okay, bring it over here, please. And then her art book, which is the favorite lots and lots to do in here and it's nice because it keeps it they kind of have everything themed to go along with whatever season you're in so that's kind of fun but yeah as you guys can see um it is a full load that's for sure we're going to be busy this year as you can see we're just taking it year by year right now um you know we might change curriculum in the future i don't know how uh realistic once we have all four kids going and in schoolwork um this curriculum is going to be so anyway um i'm going to start doing some videos um you know just giving you guys a glimpse about what it really is them in the middle of it them doing their video lessons and stuff like that but i just wanted to give you guys a glimpse at all their curriculum so thanks so much for watching you guys if you have any questions just leave them below in the comments if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe give the video a like if you enjoyed it let me know if you want to see more homeschool type videos and i'll see you guys with the next one